last lesson we prepared our VPS machine so that we can quickly and safely log in into it. In this lesson we will continue our Django application deployment on a single host. The first one to meet HTTP request is a web server, Nginx in our case. Nginx is a web server and a proxy in the same time. It is a web server because it can handle HTTP requests, serve static content like style sheets, JavaScript or images. It can also deal with TLS layer or secure HTTP. Nginx acts as a proxy because it will forward specific requests to our Django part. We will deal with proxying part a little bit later. Let's focus now on Nginx as a web server. Usually a web server hosts more than one website or web application. In this picture I illustrate the case where Nginx hosts three applications. In technical terms these are called virtual servers. But I find name like sites available more practical. Because configuration of each of these domains is usually stored in a folder called sites available. Obviously we will deal only with case of our demo.dglt.net but I wanted you to understand a more general picture. So we will create a configuration file for domain demo.dglt.net and in this configuration file we will need to specify at least two things HTTP port to listen to and the domain to deal with. Let's do that. So here I am now on my local machine and I will log in into John Systems computer. So let me first install Nginx. After installation is done, you can check that Nginx service is up and running. As we learned in theory part, the most important configuration folder is sites available. This is the place where virtual hosts or virtual servers are created. By default, Nginx created one dummy site for us. I will delete this dummy site and instead I will create demo.dglt.net file for configurations of our site. Notice that the name of this file does not matter. But remember that web server usually hosts more than one application and it is a good practice for each site to be named according to the domain it deals with. And the very least configuration content for our demo.dglt.net domain is following. So at least we need to specify a server directive or as I explained in theory this is a virtual server. And at least we need to specify to listen on a port 80 which is a standard port for HTTP, the server name which is the domain this configuration is for and the location. The location directives instructs Nginx where to look for the files to be served for this domain. I already created this folder and added a file hello.html. By default, Nginx does not serve sites from sites available. Instead, it serves sites from a folder sites enabled. And in order to enable our site, so to speak, we need to create a symbolic link located in this place to our site. This command creates a symbolic link which will point to this file and if I don't specify anything else, it will create symbolic link in the current folder. Symbolic link and it points to this file. Let me restart Nginx. No errors. And with this configuration Nginx should be able to serve the file which is located in opt demo. This one. But it does not work. Behind the scenes I tried to make a couple of other changes to this Nginx installation and it all seemed as if changes do not take any effect. And this is despite the fact that Nginx is obviously up and running. Behind the scenes I found the issue. 
and I want to share with you the troubleshooting process. Do you remember that in the last lesson I assigned an A record demo.dglte.net to resolve to John system machine? Well, have a look here. To double check that A record demo.dglt.net resolves to the correct IP, you need to use dig command. Here I specify that I'm interested in A record. Just have a look at the answer. The answer section tells me that demo.dglt.net domain resolves to two IP addresses. And this is already wrong. And the another IP address is actually another machine of mine where I have Nginx installed. So obviously I messed it up. John system machine IP address is this one. So to fix the issue, I need to remove this a record. I'm in domain manager of dglt.net domain and here at the a record section you can see that I mapped it twice which is obviously wrong so I will leave only this one. After doing this change I need to wait for a while for DNS uh, records to synchronize across across all DNS servers. Now you see different message, which means that at least our domain resolves to correct address. Now let me try to access hello.html file and voila, it works. So when I type slash hello.html, Nginx serves me this file. So we have some progress, but we're still not done yet. I have updated site file a little bit. Let me explain the changes. With location directive, you instruct Nginx to do different things based on the URL. Location directive without any operator will perform prefix matching, which means that if your URL starts with this, then execute whatever is inside this block. Otherwise it continues and it checks if URL starts with this, that is any other prefix, just execute whatever is in this block. The second block, this one, is straightforward. Nginx will just proxy the HTTP request to whatever application runs on the same host as Nginx and listens on the port 8000. This block, it's a little bit more tricky. Basically, it says following. If the URL starts with this, then serve static files from this location. Alias directive does the magic here. Let me explain in more detail what exactly alias directive does. If URL that reaches demo.dglt.net domain starts with this, then it reaches alias block. This one. I will explain what alias directive does by an example. Let's suppose that URL looks like this. Because URL starts with this string, it reaches alias directive. Alias directives strips away the matching part, this one, or this one here, and replaces it with whatever is there as an argument to the alias. So alias has argument this string and alias replaces this matching with this one. And the result of this is the full path on the um, file system to the file to be served. Let me now show you how this works in practice. So here I am in opt folder where I have created this file structure. Notice that I have deleted uh, the hello.html file and instead I created folder static where I have placed another two folders like CSS and JS and inside of each of them I created one file. If I try to access static JS index.js it will return me the JavaScript file. This one. On the other hand, if URL does not start with static, let's say I placed an XX here, 
and the error message is 502 bad gateway. And for this moment, this is the correct message. Because in our configuration file, if the location does not match the dist prefix, that is, does not start with static, like here, it starts with xx, it reaches this part. And it proxies uh, the request to whatever application listens on this port. But at this point, nobody listens to this port. There's no answer coming from any sort of application. And Nginx shows us this uh, 502 bad gateway. At this moment, we configured Nginx to receive HTTP requests from demo.dglt.net domain. And if that HTTP request starts with static, then we configured Nginx to serve uh, static content. Otherwise, Nginx will forward all the requests to whatever application listens on port 8000 and resides on the same host as Nginx. And now, once we understand what Nginx is and what it does and how to configure it in the context of Django, we are ready to use an automation tool which is called Ansible to automate the installation of and configuration of Nginx. And this is what we will do in the next lesson. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.